They said they're going to. It was a very sad day. That uh, I personally think could have been avoided, but I think Congress would be at the time allowed it to happen. I kind of put a blanket on there. I figured I'd go this way instead. That works. Work my way around. Yeah. Yeah, I personally think that could have been avoided because the powers that be about it to happen so they could get back to the agenda they had on they had on their mind. But anyway, neither here nor there. It's done. Not a lot we can do about it. <laughs> said remember people couldn't even do that no. so anyway on to bigger better things another day some of y'all uh, I'm going to mention that some of y'all uh, might have been looking for Elaine yesterday well she wound up not getting her video for yesterday posted, so she will post that one on Friday. Yeah, I had a brain fart moment. Took me to pickle eggs, y'all. That might have been part of it. So, anyhow, right now we're going to head back to the house, have a sausage biscuit everything they do a few things after that and I might go lay back down I didn't get my butt to bed till midnight last night didn't either one of us sleep too good I think I've had about two and a half hours sleep at that right I don't know just a rough night y'all and I have those nights Piggy has those nights yeah, I didn't sleep that well last night myself, so <laughs> that's one of those things. A lot of y'all out there understand no what we mean. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the house, have a biscuit, pedal. Now I'm going to edit this video and post it, and then I'm going to let it. Right. After I post my own news. Folks, right here at this spot. Yeah, that's how I'm going to go where. Yeah. Yeah. Right here at this spot. Right there at that spot right there yesterday afternoon, folks, has this old lady. That's a spot where you got to yield. It also gives you a lane to kind of merge into traffic if possible. Folks, it was folks turning left into that road. And that lady was just sitting there looking to make sure it was all right. Well, before they were turning left, the light had turned green for us to go, and she was just sitting there watching traffic, making sure it wasn't yeah. coming at her. Now, folks, here's the thing about it. It wasn't just that she was a very much, a very much older lady. She apparently has enough money. She had her a Tesla. Couldn't drive it. And uh, I don't know what her deal was. She sure was stoving everything up. 
even everything hindered. Well, what's sad and, is we were in that turn lane right there, remember? And she yeah. was kind of up beside it, and she'd traffic had a green light. She was just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, a lot of times, you know, they should, they should do better checking when you get your license renewed, making sure you still have the cognitive abilities as well as the eyesight to drive. <laughs> yes. You know, me personally, it's going to suck when it happens, but when I get to the point I know that I'm a problem on the road, I'll give it, I'll give it up. You know, I'd rather give it up than become a potential problem and a hazard to other people. But that's just me. <laughs> I know. Maybe she was the only one she had to rely on. But it may be. But somebody got enough money to afford a Tesla, they got enough money to work out other ways. Bottom line. So, you know, wasn't no sense in it. Before that, we saw a Lieutenant Dan. I'm saying, Lieutenant Dan ain't got no legs. What it was, folks, it was a Chevy truck that had been lowered to sit as low as this car does. Now, I know doing different things to vehicles is a thing, and people like different things and all like that, but yeah, I just kind of consider it a shame when you see this full-size Chevy truck and it's sitting as low as my car does. You know, first thing out of a lady's mouth is, Lieutenant Dan, uh-huh. I thought, oh, okay, I get it, no legs. Mm -hmm. It ain't got no legs. Well, I mean, that'd be just like you see when them big trucks come on up, at, you know, get four or five foot off the ground on those risers and stuff. Lieutenant Dan ain't got new legs on that. Right. But it wasn't just that it was lowered. He didn't know how to drive the thing either. Because mm -mm. we got end of that one road to get on the bypass going towards where we got to go. And he did the same thing as that old lady in that Tesla. He just sat there. People on the bypass had a left turn arrow to be able to turn left on the road we were coming out of. And he's just sitting there looking at them. Mm -hmm. Like, should I, should I, can I go? He finally went. And I skirted in behind them um, just a touch later. You know, but it's like, gracious, you chopped it down, you lost your brain. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it kind of made me wonder the mentality of some of the folks that like to lower their trucks. Are they all there? <clears throat> I mean, seriously. Of course, somebody got knowledge to take and do that, but have knowledge enough to know better about drivers. That might be he bought it that way. You never know. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. It's just a crazy world out there. A friend of mine had posted something on Facebook and it's talking about, you know, well, that was just almost a wreck. <laughs> and I got it on video. <laughs> that red truck was working his way over to the left lane, and that little black car was just a hitting and getting. We're going to try to go around that truck. She realized, uh-oh, it's getting cut off. And she did it to herself. Well, if you'll see, pretty much everybody turning, they're not turning into the right lane they're coming over to the left lane well that's what a lot of folks do mm -hmm. i'll do that yeah that other little car 
she was getting on it hard. But uh, anyway, most shit may talk about, you know, people realize and watch what they say because it's not all about them. I commented on a post, I told her, I said, it's kind of hard to teach that. And it, it's all about me, society. <clears throat> people don't think about others because they're all about themselves. They have no consideration for anything else. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's a crazy world. So Derek Fowler had put me out there, listening to my video, put my video out there. Y'all listen up, y'all might learn something. Appreciate that, Derek. But uh. Might be here a while. Yeah. I might have chosen. How about we go this way? That's up to you, Piggy. Because we're going to sit there a while. That's a long lot of traffic right there comes from Yeah. Here. I made a bad choice on that. So we will all meet and go. We won't go where? In the we'll usual go. way. Yeah. Let's go up the highway instead of going yeah. where? We're doing that because our normal route, they're still working on that road. Yeah, they're getting ready to pave the last end of that particular part of the road. Or I should say, put the second paving part on it, whatever. Yeah. Well, I should say they sporadically work on that road. <laughs> Today just happens to be one of those days they've decided to work on it. It's not Friday. Yeah. They were out there yesterday. They weren't out there this past Friday. And Friday seems to be they ain't there. Yeah, Thursdays and Fridays are the sporadic days. Friday definitely ain't there. It's Thursday sporadic. Well, all week is sporadic. Yeah. Just they have to work some last week, work some this week so far. So anyway, that's why we're taking a different route so that we don't have to go through all that. We come to it this morning. They were just then setting out the pylons. And uh, I, I don't know who they use to set the fire lines up. They weren't straight down the center of that road. I'm gonna tell you, he had them all. He had them a foot over the center on our side going down. Yeah. And I'm like, gracious. It's kind of like he, it was at an angle because as you were going up the road, they were getting more to that side of the road, but back toward, yeah, toward us. Was, one of them was a good foot, foot and a half this side of the line, this yeah. side of the center. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, though, as you went up, though, it kind of went that away instead of, you know, it, it was weird. Maybe it's just that guy ain't awake yet. That's probably what it is. He ain't awake, so he, he wasn't doing a straight line. He, he, he wasn't used to being out there that early. <laughs> he wasn't used to working. That could be it, too. Oh, my. So, crazy stuff, people, crazy stuff. See what kind of craziness we'll catch right here. You said you got that other on video that everybody's going to be watching going, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Which would be about right because that's about what I did. Like, uh-oh. Uh-huh. Fix to be a wreck here. I tell you, if I was to video us going up and down the road and we're going places, people be definitely on the edge of the seat. Them crazy drivers out there. Well, look, you got some with headlights off, some with headlights on. I've got mine on. I mean, it's light enough. Said that was got theirs on right. Yeah, you know, that's the crazy part. Well, the thing about this, they drive like this, whether it's dark and just, you know, just after dusk. Or well, that's, that's the crazy part dark. because we've seen people driving in dusky dark, mm -hmm. no lights on at night, you know. Yeah. And, and then middle of the day, bright daylight, we've seen them with the bright lights on. Yeah. 
like, people, hey, y'all got that backwards. <clears throat> it's supposed to be the other way around there. Crazy stuff. Yes, it is. We're at 15 minutes. Really, already? Already. Cool. Well, folks, on that note, I'm going to call and say, Peter, you. <laughs>